hi, my name is Mia. And um, for my Ocean Youth Project, um, I decided to highlight the issue of PCBs effect on orcas. And PCBs are a type of plastic. And, um, oh wait, hold, hold up. Can I restart? I forgot to get my notes. No, you're fine. You're more than welcome to restart. Don't stress at all. Okay. <laughs> I love that. I'd literally only just written down your name. So I'm glad you're restarting because I was not keeping up. Go Mia, go. Well, I'll start from this slide. Okay. So um, PCBs, PCB stands for polychlorinated biphenyls. I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, it's a type of plastic and it's long lived. Um, it started production in 1929. Um, but was banned in the 80s to the 90s because it's toxic. Um, it was used as capacitators, oil paints and coolants and most famously um, plastic bottles and that's why when you get when you buy plastic bottles it can say PCB free so that's what that is. Um, oh wait sorry. Um, more than half of the world's population of orcas is expected to disappear within 30 to 50 years. Um, and most of the or uh, orcas affected by PCBs live in the Northern Hemisphere, mainly around Scotland, um, but they are in other parts of the world as well. Um, so PCBs um, alter or orca behavior, damage their immune system and harm their reproductive system and by alter their behavior, like the navigation gets, like the navigation system gets mixed up so they can't find their food and a lot of them starve to death and um, have not like weird behavior towards one another. Like they might start picking on one another more or yeah, a lot of social behaviors change. Um, researchers believe that the damage to the immune system and reproductive system is so bad that many families of killer whales won't survive in the future. Um, orcas have many threats, but PCBs is not the main one, but it's obviously still very bad because it damages, like said, their immune system. So they can't reproduce and they can't continue the species. Um, so basically PCBs cause um, carcinogens to build up in the blubber and blubber is the a thick tissue um, underneath the skin and carcinogens, if you don't know, they can cause cancer. Um, some killer whales have been shown to carry up to 25% more PCBs than needed to affect um, the reproductive system. Um, and mothers usually pass PCBs through the breast milk to their calves. And um, PCBs cause the population to decrease. So in the future, we may not have um, any killer whales. And um, along the coast of Af uh, not Africa, sorry, America, um, there's a group of orcas that haven't produced um, any uh, surviving uh, calves in the last 25 years, mainly because of this reason. And um, that group of orcas is not very, they're not going well. A lot of them are starving because their navigation is being, you know, um, damaged by this and they're eating the plastic and yeah, it's not very good. Um, so I decided to highlight this in a mural and I have not done this yet. And this is just a, um, a sketch or an idea. So, um, I decided to put a big confronting uh, what? speech, what do you call this, like title? Um, so plastic kills reproduction. And then I wanted to say that so people would go, oh, what does that mean? Like, and become curi um, curious. And then I have like a little find out more section here. And I'm planning to... Um, put like a QR code so you can scan it. And then like a little website comes up or just the information page about what I just said previously um, so that people can know exactly what this mural is about. And 
on the next slide. So I'll tell you about like my decisions in this mural and why I decided to do what I did here. So on the left, I have a mother who's grieving because her um, calf just died. And I did little um, broken hearts in the bubbles um, and a tear to show her sadness. And I don't know if I like this, but <laughs> I'm still, you know, putting ideas. So I decided to put plastic bottles all over the calf um, to show that the plastic bottles are one of the main um, problems because it has the PCBs in it. Um, and you know, plastic is in the ocean for thousands of years. So even though they are banned, um, it's still there. And around 80% of all um, PCBs in the world still remaining today have not been destroyed. So they can go into the ocean if they get out the factory and stuff. And I did the crosses around the eyes to show that it's deceased. Um, so this was my first idea. I decided to have, well, I first um, planned to have a poster, um, but I didn't go with that because um, my mum's friend, um, I got in contact with um, him and he has a wall in Brighton and he is planning to have a bunch of different artists go there and um, each artist is painting a different thing for a different charity. And I asked him if I could potentially um, be a part of it. And he said, so far, yes, if he hasn't changed his mind yet. Um, and the charities I looked at are Orca, um, Marine Conservation Australia, and um, I forgot, it. it's, it's about dolphins. Um, but I haven't contacted them yet. And um, after this is done, after all the murals are painted, he prints them onto uh, jigsaw puzzles and then sells them. And then the profit he gets from that, he puts to the charities that the murals are for. Um, so that's his idea. And I'm very thankful he is um, letting me be a part of it so far. So yeah. And then this was my first idea without the text because they're annotations. <laughs> Um, but I didn't go with this one because he wanted more emotion um, because he wanted to people look at it and straight away and feel something and this is not so much that. Um, and then I have just a few more little ones, but these are, I don't think I'm going to progress with these. Um, these, um, I was inspired by the Japanese water art and I might even put that in the background of the mural I showed first, um, if it doesn't clash too much, but I thought that was nice to put in it. And then these are just some other ones, but I don't really like these. Um, <laughs> and then these were the main components of the mural that can be moved around, like the orcas and then this um, title. And yeah, that's, that's my presentation. Thank you. Mia, can I ask, oh God. did you like design those pictures yourself yeah is that your artwork mia yeah everything but the japanese ones oh my wow. gosh <laughs> so we should put some background to this we had a zoom meeting with mia a couple of weeks ago and we left that zoom meeting like this is a really cool idea but mia hasn't shown us any of her artwork we're like we really want to see our artwork so this is the first time we have seen that art with that idea and that concept put together and we are it is beautiful like it is a horrible concept but it is a beautiful piece of work me at and the way you presented it just then was enthralling and i can see it in the messages in the chat there everyone um from nicola to melissa from tangaroa blue it, it, it moved all of us and it, it's a concept that a lot of people wouldn't have heard of um claudette you might not know, but we were very lucky to have um, the AM, no, no, Port Phillip Eco Centre, Fam Charco, join us earlier in the year. And she told us about that concept, didn't she, Mia? Yeah. Yeah, about the orcas and um, all of the build up inside. And Mia has now run and found out even more and just a lot of in depth knowledge and a lot of background research about that. So, congratulations, Mia. I'm just, it's it's an amazing idea and something that would really suit Melbourne City and definitely would catch my attention if I was walking past. Thank you. Yeah, 
Wow, I had absolutely no idea. Orcas are not really on my radar as much as a lot more of our local stuff. And I'm sure actually those PCBs are probably having a similar impact to critters closer to home. That one of the mum and the bub with the bottles in, I think was so effective. Yeah, so, so effective because it's a direct link between what's actually driving this species to decline. I had no idea that they were in that much trouble. Um, this one here, wasn't it, Claudette? It was just a beautiful piece of artwork. Sorry, may I took a photo of it. I was like, oh, I need to see it. With the bottles outlined in the in the babe with the with the eyes crossed. Um, I, I think it's really powerful. And if you have that collaboration with that person, it's <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be really, really impactful. I think your art is amazing and the cause is certainly it's, it's taught me a lot. Mia, <laughs> have you spoken to anyone at Port Phillip Eco Centre yet about um, aligning this with them and perhaps getting them involved? Yeah, I did try talking to Sam. That's... Yeah, did it work, the email? Um, yeah, um, but she hasn't got, she said she'll get back to me, but she's so busy. So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, but yeah, I haven't heard much from them yet i think if you were to go with them with this design and things once you've got that you know maybe locked in that building and things like that i think they'd be more than happy to put their name to it as well i really do and it's yeah just a beautiful piece and mia when we were speaking to you in the zoom meeting something i don't know whether you want to tell everyone here this was one of a few design concepts uh, and a few messages you were thinking of putting out there wasn't it yeah so you've got two or three other big messages that you're thinking um, for our uh, ocean youth people. You might remember we had Sasha Rust come and talk to us about the Good Fish Project. And he mentioned how he stuffed up in their first ever big, uh, what was it, their big snapper fest. And they actually didn't have sustainable snapper on the plate and they got pulled up on social media and they didn't realize they hadn't followed their consumer, uh, their manufacturing all the way back to the source or their, their fish. And uh, that's an issue that we didn't know existed, did we, Mia? No. So there's another one that you were thinking, just raising the awareness of these really side issues to some of the big picture things we hear about all the time. So I, I think it's beautiful and your artwork has just pulled it all together, hasn't it, T, from what we heard? That's amazing. I didn't know you were so talented. Well done. I hope you get this wall. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. And then we can all buy the puzzle and try and do it. I have not done a puzzle in lockdown yet, so it's about and time. There's, there's got to be a book in there as well at some point when you put it all together, a beautiful picture book. Mm -hmm. There you go. Incredible. Beautiful, Mia. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. And you spoke so beautifully. Um, thank you for doing that for us and showing us your artwork first. We're in on the secret. 